Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. I did something really dumb. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Okay, so before we get into the really dumb thing that I did, I want to tell you a little bit about why I'm making this video to begin with. It's super easy to get drawn into a false conclusion when we're watching YouTube videos, especially tutorial type videos showing you how to do something. It's really easy to just assume that the person on the other end uh, of the video that you're watching just knows what they're doing and they're walking you through it step by step. What often you don't see, because let's face it, most of us guys on YouTube don't put it out there. You don't see the hours possibly of struggle that we went through to get to the place where we could teach you something new. So I want to put this out there because you may be going through your own struggle and I want to use this just as encouragement for you. So, what was the really dumb thing that I did? Well, I'm getting ready to do a video on how to build a Winlink gateway using the Raspberry Pi, and hopefully that's going to be coming out on Friday if everything goes well. So, what I wanted to do was, I've already run a Winlink gateway. I've been running one for several years now. Uh, but I wanted to upgrade my system. I wanted to use a new radio. I wanted to use a different sound card. I wanted to use a new Raspberry Pi. And during this entire process, I wanted to film uh, the process of getting it up and running. So I had sat down and uh, got the new Raspberry Pi, uh, got everything installed on it that I needed, and was about to start configuring it. Well, I went ahead and logged into my old gateway and remoted into it. I shut down the software that I was using to, uh, or, or that basically made that gateway work. Uh, so there's two pieces of software. There's Lin BPQ and there's Direwolf, and I went ahead and shut both of those off uh, so that it wouldn't interfere with me during my testing setting up this new gateway. So I go ahead back to the back to the new gateway. I start configuring everything. Get it all configured up, ready to go. I hook up yet another radio so that I can make a Winlink connection to the gateway over RF and just verify that I have everything the way I want it. And this is where the trouble begins. I start getting all kinds of random error messages. Uh, end of uh, unexpected end of file messages, wrong password. I got messages that error messages I'd never even seen before from a Winlink gateway. And I'm scratching my head because, especially the one that told me I had the wrong password, I'm like, I know this isn't the wrong password. I went ahead and did a Telnet connection to verify that that password was good and that I wasn't just overlooking something. And sure enough, the Telnet connection went through just fine. I thought, all right, well, let's verify that the client station I'm using does work. So I connected out to another remote gateway uh, over RF. This gateway is about 20, 25 miles away. First time connected, no issues whatsoever. I am really, really scratching my head. In fact, I beat my head against a wall for two solid hours before I'd had enough. After two hours, I was just done. I was exhausted. I could not figure out what in the world is wrong with this new gateway that uh, I would put together. Like I said, I've built one in the past. It's been a while, but it's really not too terribly complicated for a very basic setup. So I break down everything, the new gateway radio, the client radio, I pack away all the Raspberry Pis, I had everything running on batteries in the shack uh, on two separate workbench, I just, I put it all away, I'm like, I'll deal with this later or tomorrow or whatever. After I get everything put away, 
I sat down at my desk because I'd been zoned on this project. I mean, completely focused on it for the last two hours. So I sit down at my desk and I start going through emails and comments and messages, kind of making sure that uh, I was catching back up on everything. So I got through my email and the YouTube comments and I flipped open my text messages. And I had a text message in there that said, Winlink Gateway Offline. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. When I had built the original gateway, I wrote a check script or a system check script, whatever you want to call it. I wrote this script that would basically look at the gateway, the, the two or three pieces of software that need to be running. And if any one of those pieces of software was offline, then it rebooted the Pi. It sent me a text message, and then it rebooted the Pi. You can probably see where this is going about now. When I had remoted into that during the very beginning of this project, and I closed out those two applications, I didn't shut the Pi off. Well, the Pi runs this check, I don't know, every 10 or 15 minutes is probably what I've got it set to. It might be once an hour, I don't know. Um, but the, the, the old gateway ran this system check, saw that the applications had been shut down, sends me a text, and it reboots. At this point, I've got the old gateway online and the new gateway online, both on the same frequency, both using the same call. I was getting all kinds of chaos because both gateways were answering when I made the call from the client. So I took and shut down the old gateway, completely pulled the power cord from that Raspberry Pi, drug everything back out, first connection went through. So again, I just wanted to share this story with you because I want people to understand just because we put out a YouTube video doesn't mean we don't have struggles or that we just automatically have all of the answers. Often it just means that we've already been through that struggle and we're trying to maybe save you guys and show you the easiest way possible to do it. So I hope, you're, I hope you appreciate uh, this type of information uh, coming out. Be sure to give me a thumbs up down below if you do um, because I just wanted to be transparent and, and share this with you guys so that you can see sometimes on the other side of that camera, well, when the camera is not rolling, the struggle is real. All right, we'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.